Welcome back to DIY Read. So today we're going to show you how to enable navigation on your Sync 2 module for any Ford that you have. And also, I think uh, Lincoln also has Sync 2 as well. And this will work there too. So if you have the four quadrants, as you see here, you actually have Sync 2, not Sync 3. Sync 3 actually comes with CarPlay and Android Auto, and this does not apply to that. So if you have Sync 2 and don't have navigation currently, you can actually use this to enable it. So the parts you're gonna need are an ELM OBD2 connector with a switch. It's gonna have a HS CAN and MS CAN switch on it. That will work for modifying, using ForceCAN to modify things in all the modules that you need. Also, you'll need a thumb drive. It doesn't have to be very big. Um, it will just have the update for Sync if you need to update Sync. Uh, sync needs to be a 3.08. Um, for it to work and also this is for navigation apps if you need it to I say navigation apps I meant the navigation software now the uh, um, now the maps are actually an SD card and you'll buy that on you can buy them on eBay for 40 bucks for the newest version uh, also like one for an Amazon uh, for that I don't know if the eBay ones are copied or not but the ones on Amazon link below will actually be the the uh, legit ones so you'll also need for scan it's a Windows based software, it's free, it's at forescan.org. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, it's free. All it does is it modifies, allows you to enable a bunch of stuff on your Ford or uh, Lincoln. So, to get started, as you can see here, we have the compass and it says information at the top. So, what you're going to need to do is plug in. So, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to first check to make sure you're on 3.08 so you go to settings then help then system information and then you're going to go to 3.08 you're going to make sure you're on 3.08 it takes a considerably long time actually to update so give yourself some time on that also if you notice here it says navigation application version um, that's good to note uh, if you don't have that in there you're going to also want to make sure you actually get that installed and I'll put that link in the description. It'll be the same way. It'll go on the thumb drive and you'll install it just like you would update the version of Sync. So next thing is we want to plug in the OBD2 connector uh, or the reader into the OBD2 port, which is actually underneath the steering wheel. And then to diagnose part. And then what you want to do is come over here to focus. Over here to, we want to go to force scan, and then we're going to go to the API module. And that's going to just give you a warning. And then right here, it's going to be that one right there. It's the 7D0-01-02. You're going to modify the second digit here from a zero to a four, and then you're just going to hit Write application, and then you're gonna do yes. It's gonna write it, say so it's good, and then you're also your screen's gonna go black, so don't be alarmed. It will come back up. It'll take a little bit of time. It's basically just rebooting sync too. Now it's got navigation at the top. And it's actually gonna say insert SD card here because I don't have it inserted. Yeah, it may not say it. But probably should say it for you. Go ahead and put it in. And that should read it. It hasn't read it yet. It's gonna take a little bit of time. But anyway. So it's gonna read it, and then you'll have, actually below here now, you notice the compass is smaller. Actually, there you go. The compass is smaller, okay. So now, the things that have changed, it says navigation at the top, and then also, you got a smaller compass, and then you have the street that you're on, currently at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna blur that out, because that's my street, exact street I live on, and 
I love you guys, but I don't want you driving to my house. But either way, so now you're good to go. Now, if for some reason this doesn't show up, it'll say navigation and then it still says insert SD card. You most likely don't have the navigation apps installed. And so you'll need to use the thumb drive to get that in, installed into the system. Normally the, the Sync 2 modules that come with navigation not installed, the navigation app's actually not installed for Sync 2, which you'll need to do. Put all the items in the description below. Also, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button. If you have any questions, uh, comment below and I'm happy to answer them.